I'm Mark Farrow with Railside Report, and we're on the grounds here at the 53rd Annual Scottsdale Arabian Horse Show, and we're here in the Ivory Tower with paddock announcer Peter Fenton just outside of Wendell Arena. Mr. Fenton, a co-announcer of mine on many occasions, and a lot of times my boss, he's been the UPHA Horse Show Manager of the Year. How long have you been coming to Scottsdale as their paddock announcer? Mark, I think this might be the year here at uh, Scottsdale. And you've been through a lot of shows. They say this is the biggest show. Is it look the biggest to you from where you sit? They told me there are 2,500 horses, and it always ranges from about 2,000 to about 23 or 24. So it has been as busy as ever. I think this coming weekend, the second weekend, is always just a, a carnival atmosphere at this horse show. There's a lot going on, and it's as big as I remember in a long time. Well, with this many horses, this many rings going, this many exhibitors to get in and out of the ring safely, you certainly play an important role. Real quick. In 10 words or less, what would you say is the job of a paddock announcer or good paddock master? It's a little bit like an air traffic controller. We have a lot of rings. Cease Harvey is the other paddock announcer, and uh, Cease does a great job. He's from Canada. I've extended my 10-word answer. But um, there's just you have to direct people to the right spot at the right time, and sometimes that can be a very difficult situation with many, many conflicts. Well, and a, and a big part of it, these folks are also all over the showgrounds, and they depend on you to keep them informed and let them know what's going on in this arena. They're pro they may be over on the other side getting a, a horse ready for another class and a whole other arena, but they depend on you to give them the word as to what's going on over here so they can plan their schedule, and that's no easy feat, I know, sometimes. Another thing, Pete, just like, just like myself and, and another cohort of ours, Bill Whitley, we enjoy the good food and sampling the good food at the, at the fairs. I know in North Carolina you're particularly fond of the Italian sausage vendor. Um, what about here in Scottsdale? There's a lot of good food. What would be your pick? If you were only going to spend one day here, where would you spend that meal? Well, let me just get back to North Carolina because my good friend Glenn Petty called, and he was the purveyor of the Italian sausage in North Carolina. That's another story Mark can tell you, Railside Report uh, enthusiast later on. But there's a lot going on here uh, food-wise, and we work so many hours, Mark, we don't get to enjoy much of that. So I'm going to have to pass on that one for now. Well, you're getting called on the radio, and you've got another class to get in the ring, and we appreciate your time. This is Mark Fair with Railside Report, here with paddock announcer Peter Fenton.